if this is your first time, hi, you're highly welcome. My name is Arthur Donald. I'm an Nigerian based YouTuber and I film about lifestyle and people I'm also a little of some vlogs. You get here. Oh my god, it's been a minute, guys. Like, it's been long. I, I've sat down to you know talk to you guys one on one. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? I miss you guys so much. I know, like, for the past I think month I've just been posting a vlog ever since I went for NYC camp. I've just been posting some vlogs and all that. But yeah, and I know I've been MIA for like a month. I know I haven't posted a video a video like in a month and I wasn't really feeling it. I'm like, oh my god, my people are here. You know, I miss you guys so much. That's the thing. I just miss you guys so much, okay? And I'm here today to just give you guys like an update of what I've been going through in my life. And trust me, guys, I have so many videos for you guys, like a lot of videos. All those while I've been MIA, I I was going through some, you know, life changing stuff like that. And yeah, I'm here. I'm going to give you guys a life update and all that so if you're new to this channel do well to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscription button don't make this your last buy you know join the family by clicking the subscription button and join this amazing family yeah <laughs> so how you guys doing let's start with that okay just tell me at the comment section how you're doing i've missed you guys so much like i've missed you guys like for real <laughs> yeah so you guys know i recently came out of camp and guys i'm in the real world now and it is you know it's kind of tricky and all that but yeah thanking god i've suffered you guys i've suffered you all know how difficult it is to get a job in nigeria like i went through that phase okay um so like i said before i will deployed back to abuja you know i come at kb state and i redeployed back to abuja so as a court member you have to if you redeployed you have to go and look for a company or organization you love to work with and yeah that's what i was doing okay i was going from this office to another this office to another this office. ah receiving rejections all over <laughs> like for real like but thank god okay i'm going to begin as a story of how all that stuff went if you've been to camp you know there's this period where they give out you know forms if you want to redeploy so yeah i collected a form and on the last day of camp when we're supposed to go they're going to call if yeah if your redeployment works or not guys now it's not work home so i was told to go back home and wait till that okay I, th I think we left camp on tuesday and then he was like okay i should wait like two days back on thursday my redeployment will work so when i went to you know check my, if my name was on the list i did find it so apparently i was posted to a barrack family school in kb state i went there guys oh well, <laughs> I could not just stay there, so I like left like the next day and I was like, okay, I'm going to wait, you know, since you said I should wait on Thursday, it's going to come out, I'm going to wait. I waited on Thursday, it did not come out. Two weeks later, it didn't come out, I'm like, what's happening? Like, I checked my portal, it's still within where they posted me to. One month later, this thing didn't work out. I just knew that, okay, it's not going to work, so I had to try another person. And guys, like I, I, I tried that person like the yeah. day, and that day he came out. Like the day I gave him all my, you know, my details. That night he came out, and I was so so happy. So I had to come back to Abuja and start my hunt. This hunt was not funny at all, guys. Like it was not funny. So apparently, if you redeployed that's like to another state you would have to look for the PPA for yourself or so they might post you but they won't post you to where you want but of course if you redeploy you already have somewhere in mind that you want to work with yeah yeah so that was what happened to me so I redeployed and I wasn't really having a place in mind so I had to you know look for although I a friend of mine you know, suggested one or two for me so I went there 
So guys, I'm not going to be calling out the name of the organization, you know. Yeah, so the first organization that I went to, you guys, like immediately I was see let's just even come back to this one first. What is it with people? Anywhere you see someone on you know, um NYC uniform, like why do they always say copper, copper? Like that thing is so annoying, like and just imagine I had to wear that uniform like for a period of two to three weeks. I'm not kidding you guys. Like I was just looking for where to do my PPA. You get me? Like it was it was stressful. Like really look if you redeployed or if you're you're planning on redeploying, look I'm just telling you this thing, you are gonna suffer. <laughs> okay, you will except you have somewhere in mind. Or maybe yeah, I said you have somewhere in mind that you know they're not going to accept you. But if you're going to look for a PPA, <laughs> sorry bro, sorry sis, you're gonna suffer. Talking from experience, and I know a lot of you out there can relate to what I'm saying. Like you can, if you can, please comment down below, okay? So yeah, back to my story. I went to the first organization, and immediately I just entered. The security was like, okay, your colleagues were here, so um, go and try your luck. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try my luck too, <laughs> you guess. So, like, my colleagues were here and they got rejected, so but she was like, I should go and try my luck. I'm like, okay, no, I'll go and try my luck. So, I entered when I entered, I met the lady and she was interviewing me as if she was going to give me the job. No, like, for real, like, I'm angry. You know you don't have space for me. Why were you interviewing me? Like she interviewed me. I told her my course. I told her what I studied in school and all that. She was just interviewing me, asking me question back to back. I was answering her. And the next thing this lady would tell me was the number of anatomy students they have is okay, so they don't need any. I'm like, bro, why did you waste my time? Like you would have just told me that and I would just go, bro. Like <laughs> Like for real bro, it was really annoying. And then when I went out, somebody now asked, ah, ah, Kopo, how are you? Did you get accepted? I was like, no, I didn't get accepted. He was like, okay. So I like, I should collect his number and call him in two days. He's going to get back to me. Like he's going to look for a job for me. Like it was as if he had a upper hand inside. I don't know. I feel that guy was not working in that company because after two days, okay, I went back to my house and I stayed. I didn't even go out because I was like, okay, this guy assured me. You get it? After two days, I called him. And then he was like, he was like, oh, I forgot to even ask you, what course did you study? And I was like, okay, sir, I studied anatomy. So I was like, okay, he's going to call me back in the evening. That's not calling more. He's going to call me back in the evening. That was when I knew that this guy was 419. Like, he didn't call me, and when I was calling him, he wasn't picking. Like, if you know you cannot help somebody, why do you have to stress giving that person hope and all that? Like, it's really stressful. Scratch that. The next organization that I went to, the same thing happened. The security was like, your mate just came and collected the next auditor or your people. And it was just like, try my luck. Everywhere you go, you just try your luck. You get. So I went there and. Yeah, the same thing they told me like they just finished accepting the last batch that they needed for the organization. I'm like, okay, no wahala. The next day I came out, went to another organization. The same thing, like I was just working out. Look, my money finished because transport shoot. Oh lord. And they didn't pay us, like they didn't pay us for the month of March. I don't know why. They didn't pay us for the month of March. So I was just using my own money and I was broke, guys, because I had to spend like my money on transportation and all that. So yeah, that passed. So finally I went to a hospital in Abu Jahe and I told them, gave them everything, they were like, okay, they need me, anatomy students, okay. So I collected a letter, I went to the secretariat and I you know, documented it and they posted me there. Look, <laughs> God, unknowingly to me, what they like, where they assigned me to work was not where, like, I could not stay there. Okay, I was posted to a mortuary, guys. 
I know I study anatomy and I know that's the only work anatomy students can do. Not not really like just to embalm bodies and all that. But not take it to emotionally. Like what do I want to communicate to them bodies? Please <laughs> So I stayed here for one day. When I went the first day, they accepted me. They were all smiling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was feeling, you know, I was just feeling myself. I didn't know that was where I was going to work. Jeez, when I went there, I met. Okay, I think um, we started work that day together with the other copper. So she too was very surprised of where they where they took us to work. You get me? Like it was so scary. I have to call my dad and tell him, Daddy, hey, this is what is happening. Although the pay was very good, I mean, that was what attracted me, okay? The pay was very, very good, like, but no, I, I can't do that. I can't risk my life for how much. I can't. I, I remember then in school, you know, medical students have to, you know, deal with cadavers and all that. The first day I went into that lab, cadaver lab, oh my god. Oh my god, like I dreamt. You don't expect me to. Oh, that's my story. Oh. Like, it was really bad, you guys. Like, I, I didn't know. I couldn't just sit there, right? I couldn't. So I had to call my dad, and a friend of mine suggested another place. But I had to really investigate that place to know where they are going to put him because it was another clinic. The friend was like, I have to have, you know, a copper, a upper hand. So, yeah, so I called my dad to ask if he has anybody there, and he was like, okay, yeah, he does, we had a church member there. God bless you, sir, wherever you are, if you see this video, God bless you. Okay, that man really tried for me, like, he tried for me, like, back to back, he was going, he was taking up on me, you know, he was doing that, all those stuff, okay? So, when I went, I went there and I complained to him and I told him this was happening. I can't stay there. He was like, okay, I should go and collect rejection letter and tell them to go. Okay, before that, I think we actually spoke to the people in that organization and told them we cannot work there. So they were like, okay, we should go and look for anywhere we want to. When we come back, they're going to give us rejection letter. You get. So I looked for that place. I went back there, collected a rejection letter. Um, Thankfully for me, that man that my dad connected me with had someone that knows someone in NYSC. So it was really, really easy. So that's what happened. So the man really, really tried for me. I got posted there. And my first day at work was super, 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 super dope. So yeah, along my quest for, you know, looking for a good PPA, my dad felt you. Like it was so bad, okay. My dad was the one that brought me to Abuja, so I think he brought me to Abuja on Monday, and I was supposed to resume work on Wednesday. So he was in Abuja for that period of time, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And when he was going back home, he he fell ill. Like he went back home and he was super ill, okay. So I had to travel because he was admitted for like a month. Okay, so I have to travel also to meet you with my dad and yeah, we just, it was really not easy for us guys, like, I just thank God, okay, I just thank God that he's recovering now and he's better, yeah, he's better, thank God, but I was really scared during that period, like really, I was really scared, he was so ill, like I've never seen my dad so ill like that. Like it was really bad, okay. But thank God for prayers, thank God for family and friends that prayed with us along that period and all that. So yeah, I think that's why I've been MIA for long and that's why you guys have not been seeing me online. But we are okay now. We are back on track, okay? <laughs> My dad is doing well, I am doing well, my family is doing well, everybody is fine and we are back normal so finally all the long story all my you know looking for jobs looking for pay looking for you know up and down i finally got a good very very good pta and that place like i'm i've been there like for two weeks now and these people treat me as family 
really like besides the um, artwork I, I have the video after i do this like update i'm going to post the videos my friends they are at work these people are nice okay they are very nice because they are away like they welcome me openly showing me what i will be doing you get all those stuff like those people they are most people are dumb vibes okay like there is vibe in our office there is never a day that our office is you know dry or something there must always be something you get so yeah it's really nice after all my suffering i'm i'm super happy that i got a nice room because there are so many people okay like after all the struggle and all you will not get a good ppa but my own ppa is nice like i can vouch for that very very nice yeah so during my search for you know this ppa stuff i've met a lot of coppers nice nice coppers okay people that you know we kind of connect on another level like that <laughs> very nice like I've, I've met like plenty of people that we are now friends and i'm happy for your friends in fact there's this particular lady i met like in a secretariat she has been wonderful she's a doctor <laughs> so we kind of related you get me so yeah search for people is not easy like take that from me it's not easy it's not easy except you know have a upper and somewhere and you don't have to go through the struggles and all but if you are looking for a place to do your PPA in Abuja I don't know about other states though but Abuja you know Abuja is a hot cake so everywhere you go okay you might get disappointed you might you know get rejections and all but it's cool you know life goes on we knew we knew okay <laughs> so yeah this is my life update this is what i've been through like a couple of weeks i've not been online i've not posted anything so i'm super super sorry okay but i'm back now you know that consistency we are back at it okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do do have to give this video a thumbs up like this video share with your loved ones comment down below and you know wish me well in my um in this journey okay just wish me well and yeah i think that's all i'll be sharing with you guys now so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment down below and subscribe to my channel most importantly okay we are approaching 400 okay 400 please i beg you <laughs> let's reach that goal okay thank you so much for watching if you watch to this point i love you guys so much i love you guys so much and we're back again back again so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs> bye.